Good afternoon and welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? All good, I hope. I just go till I drop. Whether it's working or shots, give it all that I got. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Torque TC500 controller. I've had the controller for about a month now, so I feel that now is quite a good time to review it in terms of the app, in terms of the performance, in terms of the style and the aesthetics of it and just give my true opinion. Obviously my first reactions I was absolutely blown away by it. I could not believe that running a stock battery you could achieve such incredible torque and top speed as well. Now since that first video that I put out on the torque controller they have done a really nice firmware update which actually makes the calibration and the setup a lot easier. I'm getting loads and loads of questions. As I kindly receive this free of charge from Torp, one of the main questions I keep getting is, actually, if you had to pay for this, is it worth the money? Are there any other controllers out there that are any better? Or how does it compare to other products on the market? Now, I can't really comment on some of the other products because I've, so I've only ever run the stock controller. And as anyone with a Seron will know that these things are not slow as stock and the performance that this controller gives is just second to none it's just unbelievable i always had a controller upgrade in mind along with a battery upgrade in mind as well and of course you start looking at all these different controllers and what they can do what they can't do and i think what stands out the most for me is this app this app is just phenomenal in the control that you get with it just from sitting on the bike. Now, I'm sure some of the other controllers have this option, but I keep hearing that you have to go to these companies to get a tune and things like that, whereas I can change absolutely every ratio and aspect of this bike at a touch of a button. Not only that, but the data that this thing offers as well is just phenomenal. Now, I know the stock controller and the, the stock display gives you a trip option, but obviously you get all of that, but it's the live data in terms of the battery, just telling you the cells on the battery and how they're doing, and temperature as well. Now, you may think, why, why do you need to know what temperature your controller and your battery are running at? But when you start doing these upgrades and you push this bike more and more and more, obviously, there's gonna have some sort of negative effect. There has to be, because you're pushing that stock motor way faster than what it was designed to do. So actually keeping an eye on the temperature is a, is a really handy thing. But the main beauty of having this app is the ability to change the performance output of the bike. Whether you're looking to race these things and you need the absolute maximum kilowatts that you can get, Whether you're looking to save battery because you need to get to a destination, I don't know whether you're commuting or you're out on a ride, meeting up with friends, or you've got a particular destination in mind that you need to get to. You can set all those ratios super low that it's not using loads and loads of battery to get there. You're not putting loads of output when you really don't need it. Now, I know you've got this on the stock, sir, on in terms of your eco mode and your sport mode, but this just goes one step further than that. So for battery saving, There's nothing that's gonna beat this. And obviously on the flip side of that, in terms of top speed and torque and acceleration, this thing blows a stock Zeron out of the water. But I did go out riding and there was a 72 volt out with us. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that just having this controller is gonna, you know, be as good as a 72 volt or anything like that. But acceleration and, and sort of getting up to those mid ranges, it held its own considering we're still running on that 32 amp hour battery i was really impressed now one of the things that i do get asked a lot and it, it was actually a major concern of mine talking about batteries is you're putting the power mode up to almost double what a stock Zeron runs at it has to have a massive effect on the battery. It has to, there's, there's no way about it. It's gonna burn the battery out a lot quicker. So you're not gonna get as much range. And as a Suron owner, we wanna be out for as long as possible, but also going as fast as possible. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I've got, I've got Strava running in the background. So we are gonna do a bit of a range test as well. Cause as I said, I've had it now for just over a month. 
and the rides I've been out on, it's, it's done all right, considering, don't get me wrong, when you're out riding with other people, you're not full throttle the whole time. There are going to be times where you're slowing down, you're sort of doing, you know, like I am now, 60 mile an hour, 20, 30 mile an hour. And then there's times where, you know, you're popping wheelies, you get as much torque in there as possible, getting it as fast as you possibly can. So also the different terrain, some off-road, some on-road, it's all going to vary. It's all going to have an effect on the battery. So I feel this route is quite a common route that I normally do. There are some on-road bits, there's some off-road bits, so I just feel that this will just give it a fair test. At least then at the end of the video, it will clear up on how far you can expect to get. I did leave the house on 100%, so I do feel that it's gonna be a fair representation. But I would say after a month of having the controller, I really can't seem to fault it. It does everything you would want it to do, and probably more. And that's purely down to that app having the ability to change all those power settings, being fed all that live information about the bike and the battery and the controller and the motor. The installation, like you saw from that video, was super easy, anybody could do that. What I'd also say, in terms of some of the other controllers on the market, is the cost I feel is really competitive. When you look at some of the other controllers, you're spending a lot more money. Whereas this, you're looking around the sort of 900 euro mark, so at the moment, <laughs> The way the economy is, you, you're probably not far off 900 pounds. Obviously then you've got the wiring loom that you do have to buy separately. And then if you wanted to, you can upgrade to the torque display as well. So I'd say all in all, you're probably looking a thousand pound, maybe just under. And I know in the UK at the moment, you're looking for sort of a, a BAC 4000, you're probably looking around sort of 1200 so there's a 200 pound saving there already so price wise i'd probably say it's one of the most competitively priced controllers on the market at the moment the other absolute beauty and i think probably the biggest benefit of this controller over the others is the difference in performance without having to upgrade your battery now obviously correct me if i'm wrong but if you were to buy the BAC 4000, 8000, you would not see a difference in performance running on the stock battery. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry on riding, I'm gonna switch the camera off because I don't know quite how good the quality is gonna be. It's just starting to get into that time of the evening now where the light's starting to drop. Probably wearing the wrong goggles as well because I can't see anything, but what I'll do is I'll carry on and then uh, I'll try and rack up the miles and then I'll see you on the tripod so that we can go through and see the range and see how good or how bad it is. My fan, I won't look back ever again. Yeah. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man, I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine. I'm never second guessing, I just do what I was destined. Cause I feel I got the blessing, persistence and obsession. That's how you keep progressing, I already learned that lesson, yeah. Don't change it. So there we are then guys, ride over and the results are in. So looking at the torque display, the trip computer was telling me that I've covered 17 miles and I had 30% of my battery remaining. So working out the math, if I was to run that battery right down to zero, I would have managed to get a range of 24 miles. Obviously I never run my battery any lower than 20%, but that's just going to give you quite a good indication. Now comparing this to a stock Suron, yes I probably have lost a few miles off the range but what we've got to remember is the fact that I'm now running this bike at 7.3 kilowatts which is over double what the stock Suron is. If I was to go in and change those settings to put it down to what a stock Suron runs at pretty much going to be on par maybe even slightly better but I think the main thing to really remember is the fact that you're running so much power and so much torque and you're getting a lot more on the top end as well that has to come at a cost and that being the range. But yeah, like I was saying, I've had this over a month now, so I just wanted to give my final opinions on this controller. To me, I think the price point is bang on. It's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other controllers out there. I feel that the aesthetics of the controller are spot on as well. It looks so nice on the bike. It fits really nice and snug. And with the skid plate just running on the front of it, it just saves a lot of the muck and the dirt getting into that controller. I've also got to give a big shout out because their customer service is absolutely bang on as well. There's a couple of things that I was unsure with the app to start with. Quick email, they're really quick to respond. 
and they come up with the answer straight away as well. I think one of the biggest benefits of this controller is the fact that I'm still running the stock battery. To get that amount of power out of the stock battery, I just think is unreal. Now, I don't know if any of the other controllers offer this amount of power whilst using the stock battery. But what I would say is if you're looking for a massive power upgrade without spending loads of money on a really expensive battery, then this is definitely the way to go. But there we are then, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, if you could go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, I'd massively appreciate it. And whilst you're there, go ahead and subscribe. But yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.